Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well, having a great day. Thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we are going to be kicking off and continuing on today with the team that we started playing at the start of the week. If you've missed any of the episodes up to now and you'd like to go back and check out the progression of the team so far, I'll link a card up there for you. You can go back, check them out, come back into this one and then continue on with the ride so far. So as always, the team is down in the description below. There is a Roll Pace, Poker Pace for you guys to check out try out if you'd like to but just to briefly cover the team before we jump into today's episode we've got the Kyogre it's going to be Primal Kyogre there we've got Tornadus it's going to be very bulky it's got the berry there uh, Togedemaru with the Sash and Deva Nuzzle U-turn as well, we've got Xerneas, we haven't actually featured for the last couple of games, we've got Kangaskhan, going to be Omega, we've got Bite on it because it gives us that little bit of an option against um, Fake Out after we've used it off, we can't use it, and then the Serena there with the Z move. Now, the thing so far this week that we've had a lot of issues with is Tapu Lele, we seem to have played every team nearly that we've played has got Tapu Lele on because it just seems to be flavour of the week at the minute, so, um, and it is causing us a lot of issues, you know, we're not able to utilise a lot of the options on the team that we would like to because of the psychic terrain and we've got no way to overwrite that so that's maybe something that we want to look at going into next week whether or not we change the Serena slot to maybe something else there like even Tapu Bulu maybe that could operate quite well in the team and it would be an interesting choice for sure but um Tapu Lele of our own obviously just causes us the same issues. Tapu Fini would be nice, but then we've got the conflict with the, the Kyogre, two water types in the team, two grass weaknesses, although we can cover that to a certain extent. And then there's obviously Tapu Koko that could work, but then does conflict with the, the Light and Rod of the Togodomaru. So there's some options there. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, what you would maybe change on the team going forward to alleviate this, this weakness that we've got. And uh, it'll be nice to read through them and see what you think. But without further ado let's get into today's episode let's crank that music on and as always guys if you do enjoy the sort of content please make sure to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon content and leave your comments in the comment section down below okay we haven't had ultra and across my version 2 all week i feel good about going into this one today we need to uh kick back into gear so we'll kick off with ultra and across my i haven't even got the right screen on so there's the right screen. Rating's taking a little bit of a tanking after yesterday's episode, which isn't ideal, but we'll, we'll no doubtly creep back up. No problem at all. So, got the music locked in. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our first opponent. If it does, as always, I'll just cut straight to it. We'll come back when we bump into them. And we've got a first opponent of the episode. It's our good friend, Ultra Geo. So let's, uh, let's hop straight into team preview. So I do believe this is my good friend from the United States and beloved Pokemon player Giovanni Costa. Uh, I would imagine it is. It's really great to have Gio on the channel and featuring him today. So he is playing a team of Kyogre, Tapu Lele, Ultra and Necrozma, which would be from that Dusk Mane. It might not be, it might be just Dusk Mane. We got the Ludicolo there, which is an interesting pick along with that Kyogre. We don't see it too much in the format at um, the moment because of Rayquaza, but still has a good job and can do a very good job in this format then probably got the mega of the team in Gengar and then Clefairy as well Sport and Caster can also be something to utilize if Trick Room does go up um, and I'm not really going to discount Trick Room here because it could be just Trick Room does main Necrozma and not Ultra Necrozma but you can't tell so what are we going to do again we've got another Tapu Lele that has been a big thorn on our side I'm going to leave Kangaskhan here and I think um, hmm, do we want Tornadus, or do we want something else? <sighs> I think Togedemaru could be decent. Just to get the nuzzle on things. Um, and then we're going to need some firepower in the back, obviously. Um, Kyogre, we're going to need. And what else do we bring? Hmm. Do we want to bring Xerneas? It's not really great against the Duskmen. We don't have many options against it, but I think it's probably the better choice out of everything that we've got. So let's straight into this one good luck to Gio look at you there all cute with your tooth there there we go so it should be a good game uh it feels like a very difficult matchup for us um I'm just gonna throw that out there to start with but we got we got tools I mean we've seen how much disruption Tapalele causes us so far this week um and it's probably not gonna let up anytime soon we are gonna see the Gengar and the Tapalele hit the field now so hmm Psychic terrain incoming. Now, did we get the Gengar out? Uh, the, the, did we get the Kangaskhan out of here? It's 
straight away or do we just leave it leave it on the field um it's just the thing is we've not really got many good switches in to it have we uh which is a bit of a problem now we could go for hmm like the bite's not even going to be good here because yeah you know, tabulele just double into the kangas Khan. i feel um one of the things we could do is go for the nuzzle into the lele and go for a I mean, we could just bite into the Gengar. It's not really going to help us out at all. But at the moment, I'm going to nuzzle the Lele because we need to try and neuter that. That thing's a huge threat to us. But I do expect to see um, Psyshock Sludge Bomb into Kangaskhan to get rid of it. There's not really much we can do to get around that. We could have switched it out to Kyogre. We'll take that damage with it. It'll probably knock us out. Xerneas kind of want to preserve for later if I can. Um, Gengar just protecting those, so that's that's more positive for us than not. Psychic into Kangaskhan, yeah, okay, and that's fine. Bite into there, that's all right. Let me get the nuzzle. So the Tabulele not in a great place now because it's paralyzed. So we can do the same to the Gengar as well. Togemaru putting in a little bit of work for us here. And uh, Gengar will probably take down uh, Kangaskhan. Um, but just to try and stop this Lele from doing anything. I mean, we could return it, because a return probably gets it from this range. Um, and we can just go for that that nuzzle into the Gengar as well. I'm going to go for the, the return there into... Oh! There's the Disable! Okay, that's that's a nice option on the Gengar. Uh, but we will get be able to get rid of this Lele, which is, which is good for us because of the Scarf there. But... Things don't get any easier for us um, there's a nuzzle it is disabled but let's see what my opponent brings in hmm. isn't a crossma okay now do earth power do earth power Oh, do you know? Uh, okay, let's go for a bite into Necrozma and let's go for the Endeavor as well into that slot. Yeah. Sludge Bomb, gonna take down Kangaskhan. I'm kinda hoping that we see an Earth Power into our Togunomaru here. We're not gonna see that. Is it going for a Trick Room? Oh, it's Photon Geyser. Okay. Could have U-turned there as well. That might have been a better option. I wonder if the Gengar's got Shadow Ball. It's got to have, right? It should do. Hmm. Do we bring in Xerneas, though? That's the thing. We could bring in Kyogre. Kyogre's probably a little bit better. Photon Geyser's not ideal. Um... You've got to be a bit wary about the Endeavor now on this Togunamaru. Okay, let's see where we go with this one. Now, do we U-turn out onto the Gengar? Like, what's what what what's going to happen here? I think you Ultra Burst and maybe Protect, so you've got. Potentially, so I could just Origin Pulse and U turn because I, I kind of expect the Necrozma to Ultra Burst here, maybe Protect. So they've got the, the Z move the next turn, and this is the reason why I don't want to protect Kyogre because if you protect Kyogre here, they do Ultra Burst, and the next turn, then they've got an easy like one shot onto Kyogre with that Z move in the Psychic Train, which is just too much for us to take. At the same time, they could just Sludge Bomb, Photon Geyser into Kyogre. But I think you've got to worry about the Togo tomorrow as well. Oh, okay. Gengar just protecting. U-turn into that slot, which is not ideal. Uh, Origin Pulse, we could have Water Spouted. And we're not seeing an Ultra Burst here, which is interesting as well, for sure. Is it enough to get the Necrozma? It is. Okay. It's mad that we've actually got that. Hmm. And what's coming in? Ludi, there we go. There's the little... <laughs> the dancing... Uh, okay, we definitely need to try and nuzzle that thing, but we're not going to be able to. 
Um, hmm. Now do we protect? Or do we just sack Togedemaru? Ah. <laughs> uh, we're in a right, we're in a boat lot of trouble right now. Um, hmm. Well, we can't protect with Togedemaru, whatever. We can protect with Kayaka. Um, we can't nuzzle. Um, you turning might be useful just because we could potentially get the fake out again. I'm going to U-turn into the Ludi. I don't think we get it, though. I think I think Geo probably will get rid of this Togunamaru as soon as it can. Grass Knot. Okay. I mean, if it's not got Shadow Ball, it has got Shadow Ball, which makes a lot of sense, yeah. I think that was our only, like, way out really would have been if there was no Shadow Ball there and it had something like Taunt, maybe. Psychic Terrain running out. Uh, the Grass Knot's going to be a killer for us, really. But whether or not it picks up the knockout is another thing, though. Because you could still Geomancy an Origin Pulse here. And an Origin Pulse should get the Gengar. Now, do you double into... I don't think you double into the, the, the Kyogre here. And I think you have to, to pick up the knockout. Because I think we'll take a Grass Knot from the Ludicolo. Unless it's Life Orb or Expert Belt. Then we're done for. Then we are done for. But let's be hopeful. Let's hope we can get a Geomancy off. If we can hit an Origin Pulse here, that would be amazing. Got to worry about Disable as well from this Gengar. Could Disable our Kyogre for sure. Uh, but I think you get more out of a turn by just Sludge Bombing. <sighs> sludge Bombing Xerneas, I would say. There's a Z move. Okay. I mean, if, you, if this is into Xerneas. Which it will be. I mean, we might take this. We might take it. I'm going to be hopeful the deer can stay strong here. And if you haven't doubled into... Like, you double into the Xerneas here. No, into the Kyogre. Okay, we might actually game on. Because if we get rid of the Gengar now, we can win this. We hit the Gengar... We missed the Ludi. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Okay, Moonblast should be able to get the Ludi. Hopefully. That's Z move, isn't it? So it's going to be like super offensive. It's probably not got enough to take a Moonblast. We definitely outspeed it. 100%. So we should be able to clean this one up. Kyogre is poisoned as well. But... This is a, a fast-paced, furious game. I don't know how we've managed to actually get through this one, but the team has done all right to do it. I think sniping the, the Dusk main kind of made a big difference for us. So um, we will Moonblast into the Ludi, and that should be should be game for us. Uh, unless this Ludi is like the most bulky, monstrous Ludi in the world. But it's not, and we do pick up the win. So, absolutely amazing game to Gio. Uh, as always, it's a massive pleasure to play him. He's, uh, he's such a good guy as well. So, uh, big shout out to Gio, who does a lot of streaming and other great content. Um, so, check out his YouTube and stuff. I'll link it down below. If you haven't seen it, you need to go and see his, uh, believe, his EV series, which is just incredible. Um, among other things that he does, his work's great. So, uh, yeah. Big shout out to Gio, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent, and we'll jump straight into our next one. Ah, when I bumped into Gio there, I was like, oh, okay, we had a bad day yesterday. It's going to continue on today, so there's a little bit of relief there that it's uh, it's not went as bad as it possibly could have. Uh, what music are we going to go for? I feel like, we'd, like we've got so many tracks here, and I feel like there's not enough tracks. Should we go... Uh, uh, Ultra Recon Squad. I don't think I've ever played this on the channel ever before. So there's a random one for us to play and take into today's one. Uh, we'll hop over and uh, get the the screen up with our bottom screen on because I always forget to do this. But uh, we'll get this one up and we'll jump into our next one. And uh, as always, if it takes a little bit longer to find our first opponent of the episode, uh, second opponent of the episode, I'll just cut to it, guys, and we'll come back as soon as we find someone. And we got our next opponent of the episode. We've got Luigi from Italy. So let's jump straight into team preview. 
Uh, Luigi is playing a team of Groudon, Eveltal, Incineroar, Bronzong, Gengar, and Tapu Fini. So I'm sure many of you have seen a similar build to this over the weekend in the Berlin Tour Championships, uh, or the EU Championships, whatever we like to call it. Um, but most of the teams have that Kyogre there over the Groudon. So it's interesting to see Groudon, Eveltal. It's a core I do really like, you know, that, that pairing. I think it's very strong, but... Um, there's no Tapu Lele, so it makes me feel a lot better about things going forward. So I think what we'll do is, for a change, we will lead off with a Kyogre and a Tornadus. Do we go Tornadus? Hmm, or do we not? Do we not? Do we? Do we not? <laughs> um, yeah, we will. We'll bring Serena to this one. I think that could be quite useful. Um, actually, you know what? If we see Bronzong in Cinero, that could be really bad for us. It could be disastrous for us to be honest um hmm because the trick room is the one thing that we want to prevent it's just a fake out into tornadoes but i mean if they do that then we get a water spout off so it's not the end of the world and what do we want to finish up with we probably need xerneas in this one so i will lock in uh we've got a lot of weak things to uh gengar but um i think it might be all right so good luck to my opponent let's get into this one Oh, I don't know if we made the right choices, but I just want to get this this roleplay Kyogre going for once. And we haven't got a, fin uh, a Lele, we got a Finny, so it makes me feel a little bit better about <laughs> this match. Sick of Tapu Lele this week. I love it as a Pokemon, but it's a nightmare with this team to play against. That's why I feel like next week going in, we'll make some changes on Monday. We probably need to look at that matchup because it is, it is brutally hard. And we see the one lead that we did not want to see uh, <laughs> with the Bronzong and the Incineroar, which is a bit annoying. Um, but like I say, one of the things that they can only fake out one Pokemon, so we either get a Water Spout off or we get a Taunt into the Bronzong. Uh, either one, I don't mind. Uh, the one thing that could really hinder our ability to uh, shut this down is obviously the, the Sykinian Z on the Bronzong. Um, also, uh, mental herb as well, but I think we, we have to go for it. We have to go for it. We have to go for the taunt into the Bronzong and hope that it's not got the mental herb and it's not got the Psychonium Z there. And um, hope that a water spout's enough to get the Bronzong if we are able to get our water spout off. Groudon could make its, its way in and we could see Z Trick Room. That would be terrible for us, but it wouldn't be the end of the world. We've still got ways to play around. Uh, it is going to be so Groudon. Okay, this isn't too bad. This isn't too bad, honestly. This is fine. Like, fake out, be into Tornadus, and then the next turn is where the magic happens. I can promise you that. It's going to be all good. We can use, we can utilize. Please fake out the Tornadus here. Please, come on. Come on. Please fake out Tornadus. Come on. Let's do this. No, no fake out. We don't want to see a U turn. <laughs> We need Tornadus to survive this turn. Ah, uh, if we lose Tornadus here, it's the end of it's end of the road for us. This will be bad. This will be bad if we lose Tornadus here. Come on, John Cena. Let's go. Yeah. Can Tornadus take this? I know we can take some attacks, but I don't know if we can take this. Oh, oh Tornadus is the boss. All right, here we go. The magic, the magic you've all been waiting for. Water spout. Roleplay. It all hinges on whether how fast that Groudon is, but I would imagine with the Bronzong in the team, it's probably quite slow. But you feel safe until this happens, and we can make we can make the magic happen. It's the um, the money shot, guys. It's another cool wrestling move for you old school. WWE or WWF fans, whichever era you grew up in. I can't remember, was it Val Venus? Is, uh, it was Val's um, signature move, wasn't it? His finisher. But we're going to see the Bronzong hit the field. Here's the role play. Better bing. Better boom. Pranks are gone, that's fine. Primordial C. Here we go. Bye bye, Groudon. That's one threat gone. Yeah, there's a war spout. Ooh, we're so close to getting that Bronzong as well. Okay, 
this is fine. We keep current weather control, which is nice. Um, now we're going to get the taunt into the bronze zone or water or spout because I would imagine you probably bring in Cinerog here But you can only again taunt one uh, fake out one thing so and I think if you had the mental herb or the Z move I don't think you switch out Turn one. I think you just fake out Kyogre and, and Z trick room or trick room if you got the mental herb So we will go for the water spout once again, and we'll go for that taunt uh, We don't really mind about not having the pranks there because we're still going to be faster than both targets with our tornadoes um, So it's all it's all fine. There we go fake out into Kyogre. Yep taunt into Bronzong I wonder if it just goes for an attack. Maybe gyro balling here would make a lot more sense. There's the mental herb See, that doesn't make sense to me. I think, like, you go for that turn one. If, you, if you've if you got it, you go for it. I think, like like I say, you fake out the Kyogre and, and do that. But, um, I mean, the other player there we could have done was bring in Serena and just Water Spout, which would have probably been better. But, like I say, my logic there for not seeing a Mental Herb made a lot more sense. Uh, oh, did we just, I mean, no, I'm going to Origin Pulse. And we will go Hurricane into... Oh, do we just taunt the Bronzong again? Because it could go for some shenanigans, um, like Hypnosis or whatever. And I kind of don't want to see that, so I'm just going to try and taunt it. We'll go last, obviously. We haven't got Prankster anymore. So we're going to see Gyro Ball. We're going to get the Origin Pulse off with, with Olga, so that's fine. And we see the Incineroar switch out with that U-turn. Um, but we should be able to dent whatever comes in on the field now. Evaltal. Okay. Um, it's not going to enjoy taking an Origin Pulse. We do hit, which is excellent. We could have really probably water spouted there, but... I think Veltal taken that pretty well. Maybe that is a... Yeah, and there's the beauty. We don't have the prankster anymore, so we can taunt that thing, which is nice. But we have Zinnius in the back. We can come in now um, and do some, do some loads of disruption. Um, probably going to see a fake out. I wonder if the Veltal is actually faster than... Um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's definitely a Salt Vest de Veltal. Um, I kind of want to just keep Tornadus around. I'm going to just switch into Xerneas here. Depending on how fast that Evelto is. If it's a Salt Vest, it's probably a little bit slower than your, your normal max speed variants, I would imagine. But we'll see. So there's a Protect the Kyogre. Kyogre. Uh, fake out. Yeah. And foul play. I'll play. Yeah, okay, double ending in that slot. That makes a lot of sense. <sighs> do we just Geomancy and switch out? Or do we just stay in? I'd rather keep Kyogre around, actually. I might just go into Serena. I don't think there's Snarl on the Incinero. There's probably Snarl on... Uh, okay, we just see the forfeit. It's a very good game to my opponent. And uh, we've had two really nice games today, guys. And we got to see the magic moment with the roleplay. Uh, Primordial Sea on Tornadus. Uh, which I've been thinking about since the very beginning of this Ultra series. As some utility to make Tornadus good again. And I do think it has got a premise. I think the one problem that we've seen with the team so far this week is the Tapu Lele issue that we've got. Um, it is making it very difficult to kind of manoeuvre ourselves with the team. Um, but we've just got to try and probably play a little bit differently to what we did. Um, and yes, it is episode particularly. Um, so... It's not the end of the world, but we've got one more day before we probably make some changes going into next week. So we will wrap it up there. Thank you so much for tuning in uh, to today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever time of day it is. Morning, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is. Have a great one for the rest of it. And uh, I'll see you all for the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.